Hawker Hurricane was a fighter plane that was quite significant to both the Royal Air Force and the Royal Canadian Air Force. When that airplane flew in November of 1935 for the first time, uh, it was literally cutting edge. It was the first monoplane fighter, meaning single wing, with retractable undercarriage where the wheels would come up, and it was very heavily armed as well. It became a start of a new era of fighter planes. It had a tremendous reputation throughout World War II, serving in virtually every theater of the war. They were there when they needed it. You know, there was twice as many hurricanes available to the British at the start of the Second World War than there was Spitfires or anything else. Pound for pound, they punched about two levels above their weight category all the way through the Battle of Britain. That, with some assistance from the Spitfire and a few others, you know, saved the Empire. Calgary resident Gordon Hill is the last surviving person to have flown Hurricane 5389 when it was operated by 133 Squadron. I was trained on hurricanes and that was the first single engine, single seat aircraft I flew. In learning to fly that type of airplane without being able to go up with somebody, they sat you in the cockpit, went around the cockpit all the gauges. When you could regurgitate everything you'd, you'd been told, then they'd show you how to start the airplane, and it's yours. We got it off the ground, went up to about 15,000 feet, and then did everything we knew what to do with an airplane. Hurricanes I never had a bit of trouble with. They were easy to fly. I started out, actually, on the West Coast in 133 F Squadron, flying Canadian-made hurricanes. Trips out to sea, up and down the coast, and we were there as an emergency measure. I like flying. The other stuff was an annoyance. I didn't like getting shot at, but you can't help that. Percentage-wise, I'd say we're 19.26% done. It's an extremely complicated airplane to restore. By the time the Calgary Mosquito Society got their hands on the airplane to begin the restoration, the airplane had been stripped down to virtually every last nut and bolt. Essentially, what we inherited was a collection of parts that used to be a Hawker Hurricane. This is going to be one of the better ones because I would say by the time we're done, 90% of the aircraft is going to be original to that particular serial number. Most people don't have an opportunity to, to see a work in progress, so they, they don't really appreciate the amount of hours and the, and the amount of uh, research and this type of thing that goes into a restoration. The Chicago Mosquito Society certainly has, has done a great service to, uh, to Canada and Canadians in keeping these aircraft here. They've done a, an amazing job. 
Working with the society was a pleasure, where the society really shone, was uh, taking on the you know, worldwide internet search for missing items and documenting things and so much more history known now than there was seven years ago. A bit sad for us to like all of it, of course, and uh, but we have another one to, to concentrate on and we'll keep on, we'll keep on doing that. This is an extremely rare and valuable airplane. There were 14 and a half thousand of these airplanes made. There are 63 left in the world today. While the airplanes are artifacts, they serve as a touchstone, as a starting point for our opportunity to honor the people who are associated with this airplane. No matter what your contribution was to the restoration of this airplane, as, as modest as a $5 donation or an hour's time put in doing something, every person who has done that gets to claim a piece of this airplane. They have made a contribution, they have in a sense put their fingerprints on this airplane and can for the rest of their lives stand back and say, hey, I contributed to that, I had a part in doing that.